All right, hi everyone. This is chapter one, lesson seven, compute with scientific notation. Okay, so right now we're gonna talk about multiplication and division with scientific notation. So, all right, looking at this, it says, you can use, let me zoom in just a little bit more for you. It says, you can use the blank, 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 and blank, blank properties to multiply and divide numbers written in scientific notation. Okay, so the first one is power of powers. So power of powers. And the second one is quotient of powers, okay? So the first thing I can do is use power of powers and the second is quotient of powers. Okay, so let's look at some examples. So example number one, all right, it says evaluate 7.2 times 10 to the third times 1.6 times 10 to the fourth, express the result in scientific notation, okay? So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the numbers, 7.2 and 1.6, and I'm gonna multiply them together, okay? Then I'm gonna take the powers, 10 to the third, 10 to the fourth, and I'm gonna multiply them together. Okay, so when I do that, 7.2 times 1.6 gives me 11.52, okay? And then 10 to the third times 10 to the fourth, remember I can use power of powers, so all I have to do is add the exponents, three plus four gives me seven. Now, 11.52 is not in scientific notation. Because remember we said that scientific notation has to be between one and 10. Well, 11 is greater than 10. So I have to move my decimal over one place, which means I have to add a value to my exponent. So I move the decimal over from here to here, and I add one. So seven plus one, because I had to move my decimal over. So I get eight, all right? In problem number two, it says in 2010, the world's population was about 6,860,000,000. The population of the United States was about three times 10 to the eighth. Okay. About how many times larger is the world's population than the population of the United States? So the first thing that I want to do is I want to estimate the population of the world and write it in scientific notation. So 6,860,000,000, I could round up to 7 billion, right? Which is nine zeros. So I can write it as seven times 10 to the ninth, okay? Then I'm gonna take seven times 10 to the ninth, which is my estimate. Remember, I'm just estimating here. It doesn't tell me exactly how many times larger. And I can divide that by the population of the United States, which is three times 10 to the eighth, okay? So when I do this, I can take seven and three, right? And divide them and then my exponents, 10 to the ninth divided by 10 to the eighth. So seven divided by three gives me 2.3 approximately, okay? And then with the exponents, remember I can use the quotient of powers. That tells me I subtract them. Nine minus eight gives me one. So I'm left with 2.3 times 10 to the first power. So the population of the world is about 23 times larger than the population of the United States. Okay, remember all I did, this is 10 to the first. So all it does is move the decimal over one place. That's where I get the 23 from. All right, there are three try it problems here, okay? So there's the first two and the third one. I want you to go ahead, pause the video, 
try out the try it problems, and then when you come back, we'll go over the answers together. All right, now that you've had a chance to look over the try it problems, let's go over the answers together. Letter A says 8.4 times 10 squared times 2.5 times 10 to the sixth. So I'm gonna go ahead over to my workspace over here. little bit. Okay, so this is A. So I have 8.4 times 10 squared, 2.5 times 10 to the sixth. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 8.4 times the 2.5. So I have 8.4 times 2.5. That equals 21 okay I did it on the calculator you can do it on a calculator it's okay all right then I have all right so I have 10 squared times 10 to the 6 remember use power of powers so this is really like saying 10 to the 2 plus 6 which is 10 to the 8th Okay, so now I have 21 times 10 to the 8. 21, though, is not in scientific notation, remember, between 1 and 10. So this means I need to move a decimal. So I want my decimal right there. So that's 2.1 times 10, and I moved it to the left. So I'm adding one up here. So that's 2.1 times 10 to the ninth. Okay, so that's my answer for letter A. Okay, so the next one is 2.63 times 10 to the fourth times 1.2 times 10 to the negative third. I have 2.63 times 10 to the fourth, 1.2 times 10 to the negative third. Okay, so I'm going to multiply together my numbers 2.63 times 1.2. Okay, that gives me 3.156. Okay, then I'm going to take my exponents 10 to the fourth times 10 to the negative third, which is really like saying 10 to the fourth plus a negative three. So four minus four plus negative three is 10 to the first power, okay? So I get, put all of that together, 3.156 times 10 to the first power. I don't have to do anything with this because this is already in scientific notation or scientific form. So for letter B, 3.156 times 10 to the first power. All right, the last one I have down here is C. Zoom out a little bit, okay? So C says, the surface area of Lake Superior, the largest of the Great Lakes, is eight times 10 to the fourth square kilometers. The surface area of the smallest Great Lake, Ontario, is 18,160 square kilometers. About how many times as great is the area covered by Lake Superior than Lake Ontario? All right, so the first thing that I need to do is I need to change this into scientific notation, okay? And they told me Lake Superior, Lake Ontario. So that's the order I'm gonna put them in. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna change the first one or the second one into scientific notation. So this is for letter C, okay. 18,160, so I start here. One, two, three, four, right? So I can rewrite this as 1.816 
times 10, and because I moved to the left, remember last time we were doing this, we talked about it. If it's greater than or equal to one, the number 10 is positive. So I moved one, two, three, four. So that's 10 to the fourth, okay? So then that's for Ontario. So I wanna do superior over Ontario, right? So superior was eight times 10 to the fourth, and Ontario is 1.816 times 10 to the fourth. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and divide these. Eight divided by 1.816 is 4.405. It goes on for a while, okay? We're just gonna leave it at 4.405, okay? But then I also have 10 to the fourth and 10 to the fourth. Well, that's saying 10 to the fourth divided by 10 to the fourth is the same as saying 10 to the four minus four, okay? That equals 10 to the zero power. Well, remember we said anything to the zero power equals one. So all I'm gonna do is multiply this by one. So, I'm gonna go ahead and round to the nearest whole number, right? So that means, because it's about, okay, I could actually have rounded this to two, and that would have made sense as well, okay? So that tells me that superior is four times that of Ontario. So about how many times greater is the area covered by Lake Superior? Then Lake Ontario, four times greater.